hello friends i welcome you to my youtube channel mac pm so in today's video we will solve a gear train problem at this we are given a epic epicyclic gear train which has one two three four five six number of gears and uh, we have to read the problem in the epicyclic gear train shown in the figure the compound wheels a and b as well as internal gear c and d rotate independently about the axis o so these two gears are compound gears a and b and gear uh, C and D are also rotating about the same axis but their speed are independent of each other okay so gear A and B are in compound gear so gear A and B will have same speed so we can write like this NA is equal to NB the wheels e and f rotate on the pins fixed on the arm a all the wheels are of the same module module of the all the wheels are same the number of teeth are given determine the speed of c if there are two conditions and two questions given so we will determine it but let's as see that first uh, we are given number of teeth only on ta gear a gear b gear e and gear f we are we have to find the number of gears of gear c and gear d so first of all you can see that for gear c for gear c radius of gear c is from here you can see that radius of gear c is equal to radius of gear a plus radius of gear a up to here plus diameter of gear f to rf now you know that radius is module into number of teeth by 2 so m tc by 2 is equal to ra ra is m ta by 2 plus 2 into rf rf is 2 into m tf by 2 2 will be cancelled with 2 and m is same for all the gears so m will be cancelled out so you will have tc by 2 is equal to ta by 2 plus tf so ta by 2 is 50 by 2 52 by 2 plus tf is 36 so it will be 26 plus 36 which will be equal to 62 so it is tc by 2 so tc will be 2 into 62 is equal to 124 okay so we have calculated the number of teeth on gear c which will be equal to 20 124 so we will write here tc is equal to 124 now for gear d for gear D, you can see that this is outer gear. So for gear D, it will be equal to from here to here, it will be equal to radius of gear B plus diameter of gear E. So T D is equal to from here you can see T B divided by 2 plus T E. So T B is this is TD by 2. TB is 56 plus 56 divided by 2 plus TE is 36. So this will be 28 plus 36 is equal to 64. So TD is 2 into 64 is equal to 128. TD is 128. Okay. I hope you understand up to here how to calculate the number of teeth. Now, as you know, all type of problems with the uh, which have a arm, we have to draw a table. We will draw a table with three columns. In first column, we will write actions. Then for each gear, we will have a column for gear A for arm. A gear A, 
gear a and b uh, are uh, compound gear so we can have only one column because they have same speed on gear a and b are meeting with gear e and f so we will have a column for gear e a column for gear f and uh, e and f are meeting with gear c and gear d so for c and d we will also have column So, what will be our first action? Always we have to fix arm. So, we will have fixed arm and we will rotate uh, gear A with one revolution. So, gear A, A will be given plus one revolution. So, arm is fixed, so its revolution will be zero. Gear A is given one revolution in clockwise direction. Clockwise we are considering plus, counterclockwise we are considering minus. So A and B have same speed, so both will be given with one revolution. What will be the speed of gear E? See, gear E is matching with gear B. Okay, so N, N E upon N B is equal to T, T B upon T E. So T B is T B is fifty six and T E is 36 so it will be 56 upon 36 if we divide both with 9 then we will get with 4 if we divide with 4 then we will get 14 and here we will get 9 so it will be 14 divided by 9 but see here these are externally meeting gears so a b and e will have opposite direction so it is plus so it will be minus it is rotating in clockwise direction so it will be rotating in counterclockwise direction so it will be minus 14 by 9 similarly for gear f nf upon it is meeting with gear a na is equal to ta upon tf which will be equal to ta is 52 divided by 36 if we divide by 4 then we will get 13 divided by 9 so it will be 13 divided by 9 here also it will be rotating in opposite direction of gear a so it will be minus now for gear c you can see that gear c is meeting with gear f not with gear e. gear e is meeting with gear d but for c it is meeting with gear f so we will have tc or nc divided by nf is equal to tf divided by tc now tf is number of ticks of f is 36 divided by tc is 124 and nc and nf nf we already have so nc is equal to 36 divided by 124 into nf nf is minus 13 by 9 so it will be 36 divided by 124 into minus 13 by 9 so if you calculate it you will get uh, 13 by 31 so it is 13 by 31 it will be minus so it is minus 13 by 31 similarly for gear d we will have nd upon gear d is meeting with which gear 
gear d you can see is meeting with gear e here nd upon ne is equal to te upon td so nd will be equal to ne into te is te you can see that 36 divided by td is number of t's we have calculated 128 so it will be te we have already calculated minus 14 by 9 into 36 divided by 128 so if you will calculate this then you will get minus 7 by 16 so it will be minus 7 by 16 you can calculate with the calculator now it is our first action now you our second action will be again fixed arm a, arm a and but a will be given with x revolution a is given with plus x revolution so everything will be zero here it will be x revolution so everything will be added with multiplied with x minus 14 by 9 x minus 13 by 9 x minus 13 by 31 x here it will be minus 7 by 16 x because for one revolution these are moving with those revolutions so if x revolution then everything will be multiplied with x now our third action will be last and third we have to rotate arm which we had fixed with y revolution so arm is given y revolution so add y y arm will be rotating with y revolution so everything will be rotating with y more revolution so it will be y here x plus y here y minus 14 by 9 x here y minus 13 by 9 x here y minus 13 by 31 x here y minus 7 by 16 x so here we have written all the conditions now what we have to do we have to read the question so what are the questions given and we can solve easily by putting here values so let's read what are the given in the questions what is asking the wheel d fixed and arm a rotated 200 rpm clockwise the wheel d is fixed so you can see wheel d is fixed means here it will be 0 y minus 7 by 16 x is equal to 0 sorry 0 so 16 y is equal to 7 x and second condition is arm a rotates at 200 rpm clockwise so what is the speed of arm y y is 200 it is rotating as clockwise so it will be plus because we are considering clockwise as positive so you can write here 16 into 200 is equal to 7 x so from here x is equal to 3200 divided by 7 so we will find the value of x from here 457.1 so we have to find the speed you can see determine the speed of c so speed of c is you can see the speed of c is y minus 13 by 31 x so you can write y minus 13 by 31 into x is 457.1 so if you calculate it you will get 8.31 rpm it is plus it means it is rotating in clockwise direction 
now what is our second question let me clear it our second question is speed of c again if conditions let's read the conditions the wheel d rotates at 200 rpm counter clockwise so speed of d y minus 7 by 16 x is 200 counter clockwise so it will be negative and the arm a rotates at 20 rpm counter clockwise speed of arm is y is equal to 20 and it is counter clockwise so it will be negative so y is given as excuse me yes y is given as minus 20 So here if we put the value here we will find minus 20 is minus 20 minus 7 by 16 x is equal to minus 200 so we will have 7 by 16 x is equal to 180 so x will be 180 into 16 by 7 which will be equal to if you calculate it you will get 502.86 so if speed of y will be here y minus 13 by 31 x so y is minus 20 put here minus 20 minus 13 by 31 into x is 502.86 so if we will calculate it then you will get the speed of gear uh, this gear c which is equal to 10.9 rpm it is positive it means sorry it is negative you will get negative so it is negative it will be counterclockwise direction Sorry, this problem was quite lengthy, so maybe you are unable to understand. But if you still have any problem, then you can ask me in the comment section. And thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks again.